Hello everyone, my name is Professor Gator, and welcome back to the channel today for our Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke series, episode 5. We're here for episode 5 here today, For and in the last episode, you guys, we took on the school tournament, got a few new encounters, defeated the Abyssal Cult who were trying to steal the Riolu, and made our way to Sun Touch City. So if you guys are excited, go ahead and hit the thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Let's do a quick team recap here. First up, we have Petunia, our starter, Delta Ivysaur, who's level 22. She's got Psybeam, Draining Kiss, Hypnosis, and Leech Seed. Hella, who is our female Weasel, level 17. She's got Growl, Water Sport, Quick Attack, and Water Gun. Nightmare, the Sableye, level 16, with Night Nightshade. Excuse me. Shadow Sneak, Fury Swipes, and Detect. And last but not least, the newest member of the team, Banshee, is our Whisper level 17 with Echo Voice, Astonish, Howl, and Screech. So, in today's episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring of Suntouch City here. And then we're going to make our way up to the uppermost portion of it and kind of just take a look around. We might take on the gym trainers in this episode. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, as an artist, it's my duty to capture all the different colors of my life into portrait. Art is beautiful. That it can be. So he's an archaeologist, huh? For many years ago, there was a song that they could change the laws of the spirit itself. Unfortunately, that song was lost long ago. Hmm. I wonder if that's something to do with Meloetta? What do you have to say? Ah, are you a trainer? Every trainer should be ready for the world around them. Here, take this. A gift for me. Oh, friend balls. Oh, well, that's good to have. That's very good to have, actually. Um, it's great to have creatures like Pokemon to serve us. How about Chop? Oh. Oh. Okay, I didn't realize. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, don't mistreat your Pokemon, dude. That's not cool. Sweet Scent? No, we're gonna stay. We're not gonna learn Sweet Scent. Alright, I give. Fine, just take Machop and take it out of my house. Oh, we got a free Machop! Um, what do we want to nickname this thing? Um, <laughs> um, I don't know, I guess... What name of Undertaker? <laughs> Undertaker, man. We got a... <laughs> it's a free Pokemon. Jolly Nature, Guts. Karate Chop, Foresight, Strength, and Revenge. That's... <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. I've been living in Sun Touch City for a year now. It's so beautiful. I'm glad I came. It sounds like it's a beautiful city. The statue of the Augur in the north of the town was built up a couple of months ago. It's amazing how fast they get up something. I don't know why people make fun of Orion for having a friend that other people can't see. It's totally normal. Hmm. I guess that's something to know. But yeah, that was free Machop. I'll definitely take that. We'll definitely treat it better than he, that other one guy. I'm studying Pokemon breeding specifically, the breeding of the Togekiss line. If you show me a Togepi, I can give you something in return. Hmm. Heard someone in Mechie Town was willing to sell secret bases. If I could afford one, I'd be all over that. That's another thing to make a mental note of. Shouldn't worry about using Pokemon that consider stronger or weaker. No matter how bad a Pokemon may seem, there's always a clever and unique way to use it. That is fair. Unlike other regions, you don't need HMs to get around Torn. Items will do the trick just fine. And for HMs like Rock's Master Strength, other normal moves can be used with the same purpose. Yeah. That's what they should have had for the games to begin with, but... Augur... Jaren the second Augur may his critical... May his hits be critical and his focus blasts never miss. <laughs> well, definitely hope so. I'm going to head up here to the top of the city. And... Is there an item hidden in these flowers here? No, I'm not finding anything. That must be used for something later. What's up here? Welcome to the Suntouch City Broadcast Tower. It's from here that we can broadcast news and information all over the world. Hmm. We're starting up a new program about rare Pokemon. We're hoping to feature legendaries, Delta species, and maybe even shinies. Huh. 
but looking for interns for field work. Well, let's take a look into that. Hey, you're not allowed back here. This is where the boss of the broadcast tower works. You shouldn't disturb him, he's busy. Unless, are you a trainer? The boss is looking for trainers, you see. We're trying to start a new channel based around rare Pokemon, but we need a trainer to make that happen. If you're here, we can make you a star. It pays well, and you can keep any Pokemon that you catch. If you're going on an adventure, it won't interfere with that. It'll be like a side job that you can help out with from time to time. Yeah, let's help him out. Excellent, I'll take you to the boss to see. This kid seems to be a trainer, boss. He said he's willing to help you out with the new channel. Did he now? What's your name? Very well then, Gator. I'm going to make you a star. We're filming the pilot episode right away. Let's begin. Here's the deal, Gator. You want to be a movie star or hero? We have reports of, of a rare Pokemon in the area. Ask you or something. To be honest, we couldn't care less. The problem is, we've been through the grass tons of times and couldn't find any. We've got helicopters everywhere in the area. All you need to do is use your skill as a trainer and find Axew and battle it. You can make a fate, capture it, or whatever. We just need to battle it for a bunch. And a tip, I recommend you don't move around too much. Maybe wait in a certain spot and look for rustling. Hmm. So it's an Axew, huh? Oh. And there's the Axew. Ooh, this could be really good. Dragon Rage? Yeah, no, this is going to be... Oh, and I need to buy more Pokeballs. Should have bought more Pokeballs. Actually, still asleep, thankfully. Throw another Pokeball at it. I just don't want to use Side Beam and kill it. And we caught him! Woo! That is... That is gonna be... Ooh, that's gonna be perfect for the team. The Tusk Pokemon. They mark their territory by leaving gashes and trees with their tusks. If a tusk breaks, a new one grows in quickly. We're gonna name my man... Stormbreaker. Oh, I can't do the full thing? Are you kidding me? Um... I don't know. Uh... What's, um... Oh, what do we want to name him? Um... We want to name him Claude. Claude the Axew. Yo, Gator, we got that on tape. Get ba Come back over here. You cut the battle on footage, Gator. You were fantastic. Great work. We're going to head back to base now. Here's your reward. Two grand. Let's go. I'll give you a call on the Poke Gear, huh? Well, and we got a new member. Let's see. Modest nature. Ugh. That's the worst nature for this thing. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. Look at that special attack compared to his attack. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> at least it's got Dragon Rage. That is. That's really going to be helpful for the next gym. Hey, kid. It's me, the director. Listen, you were hit. People love you on TV. Would you mind coming back to the broadcast tower? Need to start filming the next episode right away? We can get a duller encounter right after we just got one. Oh, all right. I mean, sure. Sure, that. <laughs> I wonder what we're going to catch this time. We're just getting all kinds of encounters, man. At the beginning of the episode, all kinds of encounters, free Pokemon. That's... Let's do it, yeah. Let's see. Great work on your last mission, Gator. Here's one... This one's sort of the same thing. You see, we heard reports of one of the most rare Delta species Pokemon over in the Rezai Re 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 Desert. We'd like you to check it out. Of course, you can catch it if you want. We just need to put it for our... Oh, I forgot to buy more Pokeballs! Gator, the ratings from our last episode are out of the roof. We want to retain viewers. We have to have an exciting second episode. Guess what? Not only was there a rare Pokemon reported here, but the rare Pokemon is a Delta species. That's right. Delta Pokemon are the rarest of the rare. If we can find it, we'll be the most popular channel on TV. Again, we've got helicopters everywhere in the area. All you need to do is use your skills as a trainer to find the Delta. If you want to capture it, you can. Just get us some footage. Hmm. What is this Delta Pokemon going to be?
All right, let's see. Is a Delta Grimer. It's level 25. All right, we need to put you to sleep. Oh, that's going to make it hard. There we go. Psybeam shouldn't kill this thing. Oh, it's got Sap Sipper. What? Ooh. That's not fantastic. Grimer woke up and used Minimize again. Oh, no. Uh, why? Why? Why are you doing this? Oh, and it's got Sand Tomb? Are you kidding me? Okay, we're healing. Do I have anything that would resist this? No, I don't. Alright, we gotta... Let's see, can we land a Hypnosis? No, I need to just throw a Pokeball at this thing, to be honest. And I've increased its attack, too, which is probably why it's doing more damage. Alright. So, we just need to throw... We're gonna try a Premier Ball. Oh, so close. And we're freed from Sand Tomb, thank goodness. Alright. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy. Stay in the Pokeball. And we got it. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Grimer's data was added to the Pokedex. Quicksand Pokemon. With de a Delta species discovered by Echo the Third. With sand absorbed into its circulation, it can vanish into surroundings and escape from predators. We're going to name this man, um... Oh, what's, um... Name him Flint. Oh, he was put in the swamp. No, we don't want that. Gator, we got that on tape. Come back over here. That's going to be an exciting episode for people to watch. A Delta Crime Hurt. That was awesome. You're fantastic, Gator. We got the whole thing recorded. We're going to head back now. Get another three grand. Man. Well. I, I mean, I, that's going to be now the highest member on our team. That's... That's really good, actually. And thank you for healing our team up. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, we're going to move Flint over here. He actually would be pretty good against the grass types in the gym. Um, I guess get rid of... Um, yeah, get rid of Banshee. I think, I think Banshee really isn't going to do a whole lot for the team now, but, hey. That's, I mean, a Delta Grimer is going to be great on the team. Um, and then I'm just going to buy some more Pokeballs, because we're almost out. Or we're, we're down to our friend balls left. Uh, we'll buy 15. And we got a Premier Ball. And we're going to buy some Super Potions. Buy 13 of them. And we'll buy 10 potions. And we'll buy one more antidote. And then we should be all good to take on the gym. We just gotta be careful with some of our lower level Pokemon. And I really should get Buizel leveled up. So hopefully the fire types that we face, I can put Buizel up against. So I'm gonna put Hella up front then. So that way, any fire types that we face in this gym, we just... Get some EXP with Buizel here. Or with Hella, I should say. Um, not much back here. I don't see anything. This is Sun Touch Gym. Let's see. You'll never reach the gym leader. Not as long as youngster Jacob is in the way. We'll see about that, youngster Jacob. Volpix. And we're faster. Oh, well, we're trapped in here now. Payback? Oh! Okay. We should be able to switch now. 
Pursuit? Um, I guess that's better than Water Sport, I guess. Numble? No, we're gonna stay in, because I'll just heal. And we should be fine. Because our water gun will do... It's four times effective flame burst. Oh, that does more than I really want it to. Oh, crap! Oh! Pollux! Oh, I'm sorry, Hella. I'm really sorry, girl. Let's use Nightshade here. That should take this thing out. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, Hella. I'm really sorry. Ugh. I should have switched. When I got that low, I was like, I should have switched. <sighs> oh, you're tall. Does that mean you're a good trainer? I don't think height has anything to do with that, but okay. Noble Roar. Oh, I, I guess it takes special attack too. Litwick, um, yeah, I guess we'll go out to... I guess go out to Flint. Because Sandtomb will do damage to that thing. Try by Sandtomb, Nightshade is... And if we need to, we could use a minimize strategy against the gym leader with Flint. So that's good at least. Um, I should probably put Nightmare up front so he gets some EXP. I knew Bweasel was... I knew Bweasel was frail, and I still stayed in even when it didn't do as much as I wanted it to. Oh, man. Nightshade. Sandtomb. Um... Let's heal here. Because Sandtomb will kill this thing next turn. Down goes Litwick. Nightmare is going to go to level 17. Monferno? Yes, we actually do want to switch. I'm going out to Petunia. Because we'll have... No, I didn't want to go into the bag. Because we can just use Psybeam here and take this thing out. As long as, I was, as long as it doesn't crit with Fairy Swipes, that's fine. Tunia is going to grow to level 24. Oh, whatever. You'll never beat Orion. That's all the... Uh, I've been beating all you. I think I've been doing pretty good. Hey, just because we're young doesn't mean you should underestimate us. That is fair. That is fair. Um. Oh, I missed. We'll use Detect. Um, Shadow Sneak. Ooh, yeah, no, we're switching. We're switching. We're gonna go out to Undertaker. Undertaker should be able to take this thing out. And if it burns us... Oh, wow, that did a lot more than I wanted. That did a lot more than I wanted. We're going out to Claude, because he resists it. And he misses. Man, everybody's getting EXP off that. Simi Seer? Oh, yeah, we gotta stay in for this in Dragon Rage. Just don't, I was gonna say, as long as you don't crit, we're fine. Oof. How did you win it? That's not fair. Because I, I don't know, I do well. Yeah, let's heal the team up here, because I have a feeling our next battle is going to be the gym leader, and we're going to need everybody as high as they can. We should probably use our rare candy as well. I guess use it on Claude? Use it, yeah. Because, oh, close. The next gym leader is after this battle. We're going to put Flynn up front. Because uh, Nightmare's not really doing much. Sun Touch City Gym is the strongest. She'll never beat us. You're literally the first gym, my guy. Calm down. Sand Tomb and... 
And we'll just use Minimize here. Just raise our evasiveness. Oh, and it actually hit Headbutt. Um, let's heal. And we'll just let it take itself out with Sand Tomb. Numble? No, we're staying in. Oof. It's gonna get trapped by Sand Tomb, man. <laughs> and our evasiveness is coming in clutch there. There we go. Way to go, Flint. Well, I guess I was completely wrong. Yeah, you kind of were. Sorry, buddy. All right, I think this is this has got to be the gym leader. Um, I'm gonna say start with Claude for now, and then if we need to, we'll switch. A challenger, huh? My name's Orion. I'm the leader of the Sun Touch City Gym. Pretty good with fire types, and all my Pokemon work together under the light of the sun. That was a hint, by the way. Do you want a battle? I'm ready whenever you are. Yeah, we're ready. All right, let's get started. Wish me luck. With you by my side, I'm sure to win. What? Oh, the rock. Everyone wants to know about the rock. It gets lonely being a gym leader, so I have to make friends where I can. Everyone in the city mocks me for it, but it's alive. I just know it. But whatever. That's not important right now. You want a battle, right? Let's get started. Alright, let's do it. You won't stand a chance. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's got drought. So... Okay, so it doesn't do half. Even within the sun, so that's good. And we're going to use Dragon Rage to take that out. Charmeleon. For this... Who is the highest special defense? 44. Okay, Petunia. And we'll go into him. We'll go into Petunia and use Psybeam. Oh! Crud! That does a lot. Oh. Oh, it's got solar power. That's why. Ivysaur? Um. I guess go out to Flint, because he's got Sap Sipper. Minimize. Oh, it's got... Oh, yep, Sap Sipper raise our attack. Yeah, keep raising our attack, buddy. That works for me. Sludge. We're going to minimize again. So now we can heal. Now we can heal the team. In case we need them. And there we go. Our strategy is coming in clutch. And Petunia is going to be healed in case we need her. Alright, so it's now, let's see. Will Sand Tomb. Ooh, that actually did more than I thought it was going to do. And he's got a potion. A black Sludge, and then is hurt by Sand Tomb. And down goes Ivysaur. And Flint's going to go to level 26. Learn Bulldoze? Yes, please. Uh, we're going to keep Sand Tomb. We're going to get rid of... <sighs> Maybe get rid of Sand Tomb. Because Bulldoze will do more, and it's 100% accurate. Yeah. We're going to get rid of Sand Tomb. Deerling? Um, I guess go out to Undertaker, because... Because we can use... Oh, it's... Okay, so it's using Solar Beam. So if we go back out to Flint. And we're just going to raise our attack. And Facade. Bulldoze. We're going to lower its speed. Oh, Flint, no! Ah! Oh. No! 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 I lost, but what a great battle that was. Why did you have to take Flint? 
Why? <laughs> well, that wasn't bad at all. What a great battle. Here you are. Congratulations. We got the thermal badge. As a reward, take this too. We got flame charge. Kane's flame charge. It isn't the strongest thing ever, but it boosts your speed every time you use it. Your next gym will be in Vipix City to the south of here. The leader Xavier is a forest theme, and he specializes in bug and poison types. Good luck, challenger. <sighs> Excuse me. Hey, Gator, it's me, Nora. Nora's here, everybody. Someone run by here just now? She looked panicked. I wonder what that was all about. I'm going to check it out. Well... First, we have to go bury our two Pokemon. I should have I should have healed. I was like, but there's no way Facade is gonna kill us. <sighs> Flint, you will be missed, buddy. Banshee, you're coming back on the team just for extra spots. And that's so unfortunate. We get this cool Delta Pokemon and we lose it. That's, but that's Insurgents for you. That's Insurgents. Alright, let's figure out what's got everybody so excited. Harmony, what are you doing here? I'm in the middle of my work shift. I'm accepting challenges right now. Orion, we need to get out of here. I saw cultists entering the city and they were talking about you. Maybe we shouldn't have come back. I don't know what they're planning, but they, we can, need to get out while we still can. Are you serious? You're right. Can you help me carry this? My friend is pretty heavy. Are you serious? We don't have time for this again. There are told cultists coming to attack you or worse. And that thing's just a rock. It's not real. Ditch the imaginary friend and let's get out of here. Crying out loud, this is why they shouldn't let kids be gym leaders. Too late. Ah, my apologies for the loud landing. Legendary Pokemon are hard to control. This guy's got a Kyurem. What is that going to mean? This beautiful creature's name is Kyurem. It's a very powerful Pokemon. Its breath is said to be so cold it can freeze flames and electricity solid. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tane. I work for the cult known as Perfection. We're not quite as aggressive as the rest of the cults. We cannot do our own thing. That doesn't mean you should take us lightly. We still have our goals and we'll stop at nothing to achieve them. Which brings us to why we're here. No way. I'm going to protect the stone. You're not going to take my friend away. You're all friends with a rock? Well, who are you to judge? Do you talk to it too? Are you guys best friends forever? That's so cute. Listen, Tane, was it? You're not acting, you're not acting very friendly here. Tell us what you want and leave. Tell you what we want. Well, you know what? We want the kid's rock. What? No way, I died first. It's been fun messing with the kid, but it's time for the adults to talk. Get out of the way. Not a chance. Leave us alone. Insolent child. Just hit him! Why? Did you just slap him? What's wrong with you? That's absolutely dis- What was that? That, my dear girl, is the reason why. Is the reason we wanted the rock. Just because I mocked Orion doesn't mean I don't know what it truly is. Mmm. Oh yeah, that makes sense. What? What is that? That is Reshiram, the being of truth. Many years ago, Reshiram, my Kiram, and a third Pokemon, Zekrom, used to be all pieces of the same Pokemon. However, fighting and war eventually split the three apart. Reshiram was sealed in a rock known as the White Stone, which seems to have fallen in Orion's care. Seems like Reshiram has fled. Very well. At least we managed to wake it from the stone. And now we chase. Let's get going, Kyurem. We have a dragon to catch. Oh, gosh. We got legendary chasing colts. That's going to be fun. Oh, Ryan, I'm sorry. I didn't believe you, but you were completely right. Now your friends fled off. I didn't see you two there. Who are you? Are you cultists too? No. Why would you say that? No, of course not. We're trainers. I didn't think so. You aren't dressed the part. My name is Harmony. I'm the gym leader of Sonata City. I specialize in normal and fairy types. Sorry you two had to see that. I'm assuming you're challengers? I'm a challenger. Gator beat Orion earlier today. That's right. We beat Orion. I can see. Can I trust you two to keep what happened today a secret? Orion can be in danger if this news gets out. Oh. 
Oh, trust me. Gator and I have a few of our own secrets to keep. I believe you. You should stop by Sonata City sometime. You can challenge... What was that? Oh, Restaurant Ram came back. <laughs> Literally, the lie. You came back. Oh, thank you. It's good to see you again. I guess Restaurant Ram couldn't abandon its best friend, even though it'll probably be less safe here. It only really feels comfortable with Orion. Orion, you have to be careful. None of the challengers coming into the gym can see Reshiram. You never know who might spill the beans to that freaky blue-haired guy. I'll be careful, Harmony, I swear. Thanks for stopping by to help out. Now she needs to get going. Sorry for not believing you. Reshiram, huh? I knew you were alive all along, but I never dreamed you were a legendary. I'll come back and challenge you later then. I guess you two have some catching up to do. Yeah. Thanks. I'll battle you later if that's alright. Yeah, I'll batter old Ryan when he's ready. I'll catch up later, okay? Oh, we got instant Lapras. That's good. Actually, we can get one last encounter to end off the episode then. Because we can get our Sun Touch City, like, encounter encounter. Because we got the... Because, um... Undertaker is a static, um, it's a gift Pokemon, so it doesn't count. And we got a Corefish. Oh, is it time? Is it time? Is it time to re-add a team member that has been on almost every playthrough that we've ever done? Because I think it is. I think it's time. I think it's time. It is time! Once it grips its prey with its large pincers, it will never let go, no matter what. It's a hardy Pokemon that can thrive in any environment. Welcome back to the team, Paya. Paya the Corefish is here with us once again for another series! Hypercutter. She, she comes back every series. <laughs> You can't make this up, man. It's... I think Pi is going to become the new channel mascot. <laughs> well, I guess... I guess some things are just fate here on this channel. But if you guys did enjoy today's episode, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe so you don't miss an episode here on the channel. The next episode, you guys, we're going to make our way south in the city to our next town. Probably getting a few couple of new encounters along the way and just having an overall fun time. Because this series has been really fun so far. A lot of deaths, but I'm having fun. So be on the lookout for F Friday's episode, you guys. And I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time.